Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mercy and I'm back here with another video. If you're new, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. And I just honestly wanted to be honest and open and talk about what I've been struggling with these last two weeks and that is spiritual warfare. And I know it's going all around the body of Christ so I'm not the only one. And I just thought we should talk about it today and just look at it from a different perspective. Um, personally, um, in previous weeks, I felt a lot of attacks on my mind and just my thought process. Um, but last week, recently, it was really against my health. And so I was down bad, y'all, but I'm back and better with the help of my prayer warrior friends. And I'm just so grateful to have a community that really like intercedes for me when I can't do it on my own. And so that's really important. I, I pray that anyone watching this video has that or will eventually you know get a friend group or a community that does the same for them so let's talk about it i just wanted to share my uh perspective that i look at um or a perspective that i use when dealing with spiritual warfare and i know and i can rest assured that anytime i'm going through spiritual warfare there's a breakthrough coming there's some type of breakthrough coming or blessing or some a lot of us deal with spiritual warfare right after a breakthrough or a blessing because the enemy doesn't want us to have all that god has for us and that's his main agenda is to still kill and destroy everything and that god has for us in his will and in his plan and so you can be certain that anytime you are close to breakthrough and i definitely felt like that was me anytime that you're close to breakthrough anytime you're close to a blessing um there's going to be some warfare because the enemy will always try to distract you from focusing your attention on god and what he has for you so um that is something that i actually um look forward to I know that when I'm going through spiritual warfare, it's not for no reason, it's not in vain, and it's because there's something coming out of it on the other side that's going to bless me in the long run. So another thing that I like to keep in mind is that spiritual warfare is a sign that I'm in alignment with the will of God. Um, that's just that, like, you don't go through, the devil is not coming against anyone who's not in the will of God. You know, people who are not in the will of God may still struggle and they they will have warfare, but it will mainly be because they lack peace because they're not in the will of God. So if you have peace and you're dealing with spiritual warfare, you're, you're more than likely doing what you know God has ordered you to do. And so, um, yeah, I like to look at it that way. Um, and that just reassures me that I'm on the right path, I'm on the right track, and that, you know, I am hearing God, I'm being obedient to His instruction, and I'm in alignment. And that's the best place you can be, especially in this time. So, the third thing is that spiritual warfare can really be a motivation. Um, because if you are going through spiritual warfare, you know God is moving on your behalf. Like I said before, you're close to breakthrough, you're close to blessings coming upon you. That means that God is moving on your behalf. So you can be certain that things are moving in the spiritual realm, whether or not you can see it, whether or not your circumstance looks like what God told you, he's moving on your behalf. And that's why the devil is coming at you so hard to distract you, um, to make you feel hopeless. Um, because the Bible says that you cannot please God without faith. So if he can steal your hope, then he can steal your faith and anything else that comes with it. So especially joy. Joy has been something that I feel like has been attacked a lot um, in these in this year specifically because um, that's something that God spoke over me, like that I would have joy in this season. And so my joy is always being attacked. I have to choose daily every time I wake up to literally rejoice, whether I feel it or not. I have to dance, play some praise music. Um, I have to choose it because the devil is always coming to steal it from us. Even though he can't, because if God gave you something, no one else can take it away but God. So last but not least, I just want to encourage you all that if you're going through spiritual warfare, 
I want to encourage you that you are powerful. There's something in you that the devil can see that you probably don't see yet. Um, because he doesn't attack anybody who doesn't have purpose, who doesn't have power, and etc. Like, he's attacking you because he's afraid. What do bullies do? Because they're insecure, because they're afraid, they make the first approach in attacking someone or, you know, making fun of somebody because it distracts them from making fun of their own insecurities and their own faults. And so be encouraged that the enemy is not attacking you or the enemy is attacking you because you are powerful, because you have purpose, because you walk in dominion and authority. And so be reminded of that today that you hold the power. The Bible says that he's given us power and authority over scorpions and we can, we can walk over them, we can trample them and nothing will injure us. And so be reminded today that, you know, we are not a powerless people. If we are in Christ Jesus, we are not a powerless people. We have life and death in the power of our tongue. And so speak life over yourself, speak death to whatever the enemy is trying to throw your way. And whatever he's telling you, speak the opposite. And this is the season that using your mouth is going to be vital. Because like I said, life and death come in the power of the tongue. Whatever you say, you will have. And so I hope this video bless you all today. And I just am so happy to be able to film. Um, I've missed you all. And you know... <laughs> Stay on this journey with me. I promise it's going to get better. And I love you all so much. And I pray you have a blessed week. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.